Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys, our summer patterns are coming out quickly and I am here today to go through all of the new Vogue patterns. And if they're anything like what we're seeing in these slides, we are in for a real treat. So let's get to them. This is Vogue Summer. Oh my God, so cute. Okay, let's check out the first one. We have this Nicola Finetti uh, special occasion dress. And it looks like a cute little T length dress with this really interesting like mm, piping slash maybe boning. Um, let's go to the full product page. Lined dress has exposed center back zipper. Cute. Shaped front and back seams with purchased piping and purchased grow grain ribbon hem finish. Does that mean this hem? No provisions. Okay. Um, the one wonderful thing about Vogue patterns is you get lots and lots of pictures. So we can take a look at all of these. Um, it also has like a little itty bitty spaghetti strap. Um, here's the shaping they're talking about. Is that a pocket or just a seam line? Let's go to the line drawings. Interesting. It doesn't really look like much on the line drawing, right? It looks way cuter on her. Um, but definitely a fit and flare. And if you're used to wearing something with a waist seam, and this is like kind of throwing you off because there isn't one, it's kind of like an empire waist, but it's still very fitted through here and flares out right at the waistline, like right where it should. It starts flaring out into a little A-line. Um, it does have a center front seam, which is interesting, which is what's creating this little line here. I can't say that I love that, but that's easy enough to take out. Maybe they were trying to make the yardage requirements a little bit lesser. Yeah, because it's taking two, almost two and a half yards, depending on what size you are. But they're recommending Jacquard Metalassé. PK and Shantung. Yeah, I mean, obviously those, but I mean, you could go in a more casual fabric like a seersucker or like any of those cotton wovens would also work. It just wouldn't be as special occasion. Um, yeah, cool. We don't get a lot of information in terms of like finished garment measurements like we do in some of the other pattern companies, but these are the sizes four to 12 and then 12 to 20. It's cute. What do you guys think? I also really like her hair. <laughs> okay. Um, next on the list is this Isaac Mizrahi dress. I love his designs. He tends to do a lot of bridal stuff. So this could maybe be like a version of a bridesmaid's dress possibly. But it's a cute little fit and flare like skater dress really. It's nothing spectacular in terms of design except for whatever this little thing is. And I'm seeing a little something on the back as well. That's very interesting. I like that. And then yeah, this little deep V with a band. This looks like there's a little snap there. Dress is fitted through bust and fully lined with asymmetrical pleat. Asymmetrical pleat and tie details. Forward right shoulder seam. Deep V back with tab. Invisible side zipper. You know, they're not going to tell us a lot about it. I mean, it has a side zip, so I don't know what that is. Can you zoom on these? Oh, yeah. Maybe it's just tacked down and oddly done. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't really say. But I do think it's really cute, and they did a good job with it. That's really fun. Here's a closer, closer up picture. But the pattern piece looks really interesting. But yeah, I can't tell if that's just like stuck on or if it's part of the bodice. I'm getting the feeling it's stuck on, right? Is that what you guys think? 
Um, but scanner dresses are always classics, I think. Always cute. Um, okay. Yeah, invisible side zip. I love a side zip. Yardage. Okay, crepe. Yes. Crepe back satin, rayon chalet, Georgette. Yeah, all of those. Um, sizes 4 to 12 and then 12 to 20. You need an invisible zipper and only one hook and eye. So that must be tacked down with thread. And then look, you don't even need like a ton of fabric for it. Great. Super cute. Isaac. Love it. Now we have this Badgley Mishka. Very ladylike. It's got this little like capelet thing, but still has straps. And then um, princess seams and this like awesome belt. Like I love this belt. Um, and then the princess seams are carried through the skirt as well. Looks like a center back zipper. And then that belt just like snaps over the back. I might get this pattern just for the belt. <laughs> it's really cute. You could you could make that out of, you know, any fabric and then attach it to any dress with a, you know, defined waist. Line dress is close fitting through bust with invisible back zipper, wide off the shoulder collar, they're calling it. Uh, back skirt slit and self fabric belt with synthetic leather backing and purchased snaps. Whoa. Yeah, little carriers. Yeah, I mean, I don't love this like fitted silhouette on myself, but I do think this is a very lovely dress and it would be great for lots of different events. Yeah, it's very striking in red. Good call on that color. All right, Claire Schaefer has designed this one. This is, let's see, hard to tell, but it looks like a lot of different like bias cut pieces. Very fitted and then like a little bit of a flared skirt, kind of a drop waist or maybe even a mermaid style. Oh, well, there's this little description down here. Multi seams create fit, bias skirt. That's cool, bias skirt, invisible zipper, Instructions written by Claire Schaefer herself. And then also in French, dresses fitted through bust with lined and underlined body, invisible back zipper, neck facings, and seam detailing. Yeah, you can't really make any adjustments to the waist or hip area. You just pick a size and go with it. But look, there's all the different things. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. And then, yeah, it doesn't take a ton of fabric because you're basically cutting it all up. Wow, okay, so you have your green dress fabric, right? This like lime green, and then you have a whole, basically the same amount for underlining, and then you have lining. This is an expensive dress. Uh, six to 14, and then 14 to 22. They are saying for the, like the self fabric, the outer fabric, Silk crepe, wool crepe, wool jersey. And then for the lining, silk charmeuse or china silk. And then the underlining is silk organza. <laughs> oh, fancy, Claire. I guess it is custom couture, so. Yeah, you'd have one, like, knockout dress at the end, though. All right, this is Zandra Rhodes. Oh, okay, so we have like a bat wing, <laughs> mm, like kimono inspired maybe with a very deep V. They're calling it special occasion dress and sash. Pullover dress is very loose fitting through bust with an all-in-one kimono sleeve, ruched elastic waist, ruched elastic waist, and contract contrast binding. <laughs> I'm trying to read each part individually so I can fully take it in. I think this is contrast binding right here. Okay. Uh, bodice underlay and inner casing. 
and applied sequin and bead detailing. And then a sash. I don't even see the bead detailing, but geez. Oh, right there on her sleeve. Yeah, that's a lot for, oh, I don't know. It could be cool. Eek. I don't know. I can't tell. I can't tell um, if, oh, I'm thinking no. But someone could definitely prove me wrong. I knew it would be cuter in the line drawings. Yeah. This, this cinched in waist is really giving me a lot of promising good vibes. But I don't know that she's modeling it very well. But if it is for a special occasion, that could be pretty cool. And then I think this is where that um, bodice underlay is. I think you can see it right here. That's how come it's not sheer. Um, in the bodice. But are all these little gems applique on? Sequin and bead detailing? Is that what that is? That's kind of cool. Interesting. I mean, Xandra always does like really interesting silhouettes, so that doesn't surprise me. Okay, here's a very easy Vogue designed by Vogue. Um, special occasion dress again. What's with all the special occasion dresses for summer? Maybe they're thinking people are going to get started on their holiday stuff now. Okay, so the very slim fitting princess seamed. This is definitely a mermaid where it, the seam is at the knee and then you have a little flare. Then this little flouncy sleeve thing. Yep. Yeah, I don't like that fabric at all. It almost is trying to look like Asian. Dress is fitted through bust and hip with lined body, unlined sleeve and flounce, purchased by his tape to finish armhole edge, narrow hems and length and trim variations. Okay. So when they made it in the black version, they did like a sequin trim. You can see that there. Or you can do it without a trim at all, which I guess is this version. All right. Okay. Not for me, but do you guys like it? I guess if we all had somewhere to go in it. <laughs> Embroidered lace, crepe, rayon, chalet. Eee, I don't know about those choices. What do you think? Oh, that's embroidered lace. It is pretty. And then they just lined it with the nude. Interesting. Okay. Next up is another Zandra Rose design. This one is a special occasion dress and sash. Okay, it's like a layered thing. I like the sleeve. We only got two pictures. The front and the back. Pullover dress is very loose fitting through bust with split dolman sleeve. I, so like I said, I like that a lot. Elasticized waist. I know I like that. And tiered straight skirt. That's where it's kind of losing me. Slip B is fitted through bust with neck and armhole binding and bust darts. Sash C is double. I don't know what that means. So you get a little dress and a slip and a belt. Yeah. I mean, maybe in a, in a less sheer fabric. I mean, I'm feeling like, oh, that's real short. Oh, and you know what else? This like, this line here is the slip. So maybe you could make that longer, but then that would disrupt this first tier. I don't know. It's just very sheer. Um, chiffon, Georgette, and gauze. And then for the belt, crepe back satin or charmeuse. It's an interesting look. 
Look at all that yardage because it's like basically three dresses. Hmm. Oh, the size is 4 to 12 and 12 to 20. All right, another very easy Vogue special occasion dress. This one has a halter with a little neck band thing and some gathering. And then these long princess seams into like a kind of a flared skirt. Here it is in a more casual fabric, shorter length. Oh, those are pleats. You know, kind of like a racer back. Big darts here. That's nice. Her little booty looks nice. Okay. Dresses close fitting through bust and fully lined with high collar, pleat detail at neck, back zipper with hooks and knives, and length variations. Yep. That would be really cute. I don't know about for me though. This might be a little too slim for my liking. It doesn't seem to, like where is it on her? It doesn't seem to flare out too, too much. And I'd just feel most comfortable in like a flare. But in the casual fabric, it's very wearable. Rayon Chalet crepe and Georgette. Mm -hmm. And then the longer version is almost four and a half yards. And the shorter version is just a little over three yards. Plus you need a lining fabric, um, which is about the same amount. Actually a little bit more for some reason. I don't know that I've ever seen. Oh, maybe they're assuming the lining is narrower. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The lining, 45 inches. Not all linings are narrow, so probably just buy whatever quantity this is. Did you say the sizing? 4 through 12 and then 12 through 20. All right. Tracy Reese in a Mrs. Dress. Very resort with those blue palms. So it's got an empire waist and then like, is this like a um, cowl neck? And then like wider straps? That's kind of cool. It's like understated sexy. The back has crisscross straps and exposed zipper, some kind of waist tie. She's kind of covering it all up though. Maybe those waist ties start in the side seam. Is there a side picture? Yeah, I still can't really tell on that one either. If it's like on top or not. Online dress is fitted through bust with exposed back zipper, grow green, ribbon, seam finish. They're really liking that right now. Uh, cowl neck front, front slit, encased waist ties. Encased waist ties. Shaped hem and very narrow hems. No above waist adjustments. Oh, and I didn't even notice that little bit of gathering there. Oh, and a ruffle on the bottom. I didn't notice that either. This is kind of cute. What do we think? Yeah, I like it with flats. I can definitely um, see it like on vacation or something, being very vacation-y. Let's see what the um, crepe de chine, eh, or any crepe really, rayon chalet, lightweight linen, yeah. There's like a lot more fabrics you could use, but breezy, blowy, flowy, <laughs> blowy and flowy. Um, let's see. Yeah, you need a lot of fabric for it and some interfacing, but that's really it. I was curious about it not being lined. So I'm guessing this is self-lined because you can't just like fold over a hem. This must be doubled is all I can think. Hmm. All right. Sizes are 4 through 12 and then 12 through 20. I'm guessing that's pretty standard. 
All right, here's a very easy Vogue with custom fit, and that's, that means that your cup sizes, so A, B, C, D, there's different pattern pieces for the different cup sizes. So if you're fuller bust or smaller bust, um, you will find really great fit in these patterns. But this is a jacket and belt, which is interesting because not necessarily that important, especially for a jacket that's this open. For you to be so concerned about your cup sizes but i mean whatever who am i to say that's a cute version that's fun what do we think about this long printed jacket over like crop jeans is that a cute look i don't know what i'm thinking about these like big sleeves and this big thing and this big belt I don't love the choice of this eyelet, that's for sure. Hmm. Online jacket fitted through bust has bodice front finished with purchase bias tape. Hook and eye closure at waist. Okay, and length and sleeve variations. Hmm. A has a self fabric tie belt. C has lower sleeve and ruffle cut crosswise from scalp. Oh, that's so that you can like use the selvage edge as your hem. I mean, it's like way cuter in the drawings, am I right? Yeah, I just don't know if this is really my style. Very not even trendy just very like specific um rayon chalet broad cloth crepe double edge scallop eyelet yes it's to all of that yeah i mean I, I just can't see myself wearing this with the huge sleeves and the big thing on bottom and I, I don't know. Maybe one day I'm feeling like really stylish. <laughs> I just don't know. I think I would I would just rather turn all that fabric into a dress and not have to worry about all these layers underneath. It comes in extra small, small, medium, and then large and extra large. And then, yeah, look, four yards, six yards. Yeah, you need a ton. Okay. Now we have Mrs. Tunic Dress and Belt. Again, with this asymmetrical placket thing. This is actually like a legit shirt dress turned on its side. So I 100% see the direction they're going with this. I, I don't know. It kind of is a little bit sloppy and confusing. But I don't hate it either. It could be really cool. Oh, here it is as a top. Tucked in. That actually looks even cooler. Here it is without the belt and knee length. Also cute. That looks more like a jacket. Eek, that's a little linebacker. Right? That's just very like it has potential. Tunic or dress with asymmetrical button front is loose fitting, has shaped collar and neckband, button cuffs, and length and hem variations. And then your belt has little D rings. Is the is this the tunic that's tucked in? This that's a lot of fabric to shove into those slim fitting pants, just saying. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh cotton shirting, crepe, linen, sure. 15 buttons, two D rings, and a lot of fabric. Yeah, I mean I'm getting like 
sort of Meghan Markle vibes in this one, but I just don't know if I'm like chic enough to be Meghan Markle. I do think this one's kind of cute though. Did I skip the liner? Yeah, it just has a um, back yoke and some bust darting. Hmm. Okay, very easy Vogue. Uh, Mrs. Dress and Belt. This one has the drop shoulder, button front, collar, belt, below the knee, hem length. Here it is in like contrast. That's kind of cool with the floral and the stripes. Here it is in low sleeve. I guess that's a maxi length. I think this is linen, which is why it's so stiff looking. Button front dress is very loose fitting through bust with collar, neckband, built on placket, carriers, and tie belt with length, sleeve, and fabric variations. ABC is a swing dress with a full skirt. D, E, and F as a straight skirt with side slits. Purchased by his tape for armholes. Contrast left, front, right, back, and belt facing for this little contrasting A and D. What do y'all think of this one? It looks a little stiff on her, but again, I think that's because they used a linen, probably didn't pre-wash it, because, you know, they were like in an office. <laughs> I don't know. Do they? I don't know. I never thought of that before. Do they pre wash when they make these samples? I don't know. It's actually kind of cool or unbelted. Do you all agree? Like, I really don't hate it unbelted at all. This has, like, it's a rectangular box, so that would never, ever fit me. I would have to make it A-line, and then that defeats the whole purpose. Like, might as well just make this one. But if you're slim, or have, like, boyish figure, this is for you. All right. What else? Did we go over everything? Did I tell you the sizes? 6 to 14, and then 14 to 22. I have no idea how they decide those. Maybe depending on what can fit on a certain number of sheets of tissue or something. This is bringing up so many questions for me, this, this pattern. Uh, broadcloth, poplin, rayon chalet, chambray. I really think that they use linen for theirs. Right, look how wrinkly it is. Maybe like some kind of linen blend or something. But any of those kinds of um, wovens would look all right. Next up, we have a lot more. Is vest, jacket, and pants. Okay, so this must be like the pajamas as clothes trend, which really was very popular starting last year. I guess it's being carried over a little bit. I don't... <laughs> I literally almost just said, I don't hate it. And then I clicked this arrow and saw whatever this is. This is wild. Is that cute? It could be, but it could also be weird. Weird or cute. This, I don't know who that looks good on. You know, with like the, the I don't know what's happening. Okay, there's the like hip, cool, stylish, you know, matchy matchy look. Similar to what she's got. Apparently this is trim, as is this and this. Right? I mean she crawled out of bed to go to dinner in her pajamas. But how is this related to this? That's so strange. Vest and jacket are unlined with neck band, narrow hems, length and sleeve variations, pants CD are fitted through hip with elasticized waist, 
full leg, narrow hems and length variations. Sleeveless with armhole bands, long sleeve with purchase trim, crop length front slits. Yeah, I mean, I guess they're the same. I mean, like the same pattern, so why not? But they're just so different looking. Like this is made out of like silky types and this is made out of like denim. Or at the very least, chambray. Hmm. I, this is one of those that I would be tempted to make, but I would be so worried I would just waste all my money and like hate it in the end. Like it would be a real risk to try these or, you know what I mean? Uh, crepe. <laughs> crepe comma back satin this is supposed to not have a comma crepe back satin is one thing sateen no rayon and chalet i'm so confused by that um ribbon trim and elastic oh and then they come in extra small small medium and then large extra large like i don't know about that for pants but I guess they're supposed to be very loose fitting. Oh, I can see a lot of people like really making some very unfortunate looking <laughs> garments out of this pattern. You don't need a lot of fabric. Hmm. Yeah, not loving it, I don't think. Too risky for me. I'm, again, not really cool enough to pull something like that off. Okay, here's a Rachel Comey. That's kind of cute. Um, it's got like a little, very loose fitting, a little empire waist number. This, I don't know about tying it. I think it would have been just as cute, left untied. But I really like this little sleeve insert thing with the banded sleeve. That's kind of cute. Certainly looks comfortable. Oh, two women and an Asian one. Diversity. Back yoke. Okay. Oh, it's advanced. Interesting. Very loose fitting pullover tunic has front slit. Okay. With binding, neck binding and tie ends, self lined front and back yokes, sleeve band with continuous lap and button and loop closure, shaped hem and French seams. Oh, and the pants. I didn't realize you got the pants too. Pants are semi-fitted through hip with straight leg. The two things that I never want to see in pants. Uh, invisible side zipper, grow grain ribbon, waistband, and welts. Interesting. Hem face seams purchased by his binding seam finish. What is this center front? Call over to it has front slit with binding. I guess that's this. Huh. And then there are your pants. So what they're saying is you use a ribbon as the waistband instead of fabric. So your waistband is straight across. It's not curved, can never be curved. Um, yeah, no, this would never fit me. For the top, gauze, chalet, crepe de chine. For the pants, gabardine, crepe back satin, palm tea knit, interesting. And then your lining fabrics. And then you, all these notions, six to 14, 14 to 22. Hmm. I wish the pants weren't in black, it's just really hard to see. All right, Marcy Tilton, another Vogue designer. Oh, uh, these are just the pants, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Loose fitting, narrow leg, pull on pants, have elasticized waist, length and pocket variations. Knit pants, A and B. A, raw edge pockets and hems. Woven pants C and D have seaming details. Hmm. 
yeah, like, what were those, what were those, like, underwear that people wore in, like, the Depression times? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those, like, beige-colored things? <laughs> that's what that reminds me of. Ooh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> what is this? Oh, no. It's better in a more stable fabric, I guess. It reminds me of those lime green pants. Was that a Marcy Tilton pattern from spring? All right, there you go. Lots of fun seaming on them though. But yeah, this, this, this crotch is drafted real funny. It's just so long and loose. Look at that, eek. All right, um, these come in the letters, the letter sizes. Uh, moderate stretch knits for the knit ones and then lightweight wovens for the woven ones extra small small medium and then large through extra extra large um, they don't give you the any sizing to see like what what are what are the inches in extra extra large mean like what is your waist size you have to look at the pattern which if you're shopping online is impossible Okay, this is a Today's Fit by Sandra Betsina. This is a top and pants. So I think she has, if I remember correctly, more like ready to wear sizing. So it's got like a little overlay action. I swear, if these are another pair of elasticized pants. Oh, very loose fitting, pull over top, have visible contrast underlay. Yep, pull on pants, have lots of size waistband, top stitching and pockets. Like, what is that? <sighs> and there's like no picture that really show the pants, at least the waistband of the pants. Yeah, who knows? All right, so the top linen silk stretch woven or knit and then the pants are a stretch woven like uh, sateen is stretch woven or oh god um, anything with like cotton and some kind of elastic in it <laughs> um yeah so see her sizing here is different because yeah but it's just one size so you just buy the pattern and then she'll teach you which size to get and then here's your yardage. So this is for the outer part of the top and the under part of the top. So the top all together is like three or four yards. All right. Well, I have to stop now and go to yoga. I didn't realize this was gonna run so long, but we have, it looks like four more. So when I get back, I will finish and catch up on these four, but my voice might sound different because I'm in the library now and I'll be home later. So just let y'all know what all is going on here. <laughs> Normally I can film these all in one shot, but there's just a lot of patterns. So we'll catch up with 1629 when I get back. Namaste. All right, you guys, we're picking up where we left off and it is with this super cute Tom and Linda Platt top. I've made a couple Tom and Linda Platt garments in the past. Both of them, I really loved the drafting and the construction of it. So, so far so good on their patterns. Um, this one has like a neckline that I can't tell. Does that like gathering go across the neckline if so that's really cool it has some gathering here a cute little center front like peekaboo long sleeves with a little placket and um covered buttons that's adorable a lot of cute details look at this one it's like the same pattern but completely different very elegant obviously your fabric choice here needs to be equally as elegant i mean this one you could probably get away with like a chalet or something and like a fun print um, but like this would be a great place for you to utilize some silks, 
um, and some really nice quality fabrics. Look at this though. That <laughs> is kind of interesting. Um, not quite sure what to make of that. If that's just the fabric hung in a weird way or what, that's kind of disappointing. But um, the back has the three covered buttons and a little slit as well. It also has raglan sleeves, which I didn't notice the first time. Cute. Okay, pullover top A is semi-fitted through bust with neck facings, draped collar, and narrow hems. Loose fitting top B has asymmetrical yoke detail, so it does kind of go over the yoke. That's fun. Uh, button and loop closures at back, neck, and cuffs. Okay. Yeah, look how cool that is. Yeah, I don't feel like this white, I don't know what it is, chiffon, poly chiffon maybe, um, is really doing that detail justice. Or maybe it's just the lighting and like the camera. Um, but I think this is super, super cool. I think even if you did the neckband in like a contrast, you know, uh, maybe like a tone on tone contrast something in the same family like pink and gray that would be super cute you know what i mean something where this detail really stands out would be a lot of fun um but this is just very elegant like i said i'm sure they're going to recommend no they didn't put silk in here interesting crepe charmeuse and rayon chalet um this must be charmeuse i don't know what it is um but certainly you could add any lightweight drapey fabric to this. I mean, really, I wouldn't even use wall. It needs to be very drapey, especially for version A. Um, yeah. So super cute though. The sizes come in six to 14 and then 14 to 22 and no finished garment measurements are provided. Um, and all you would need are those nine covered buttons for view B. Um, so yeah, I think that's a lot of fun. Super cute. And like I said, I've really enjoyed all the Tom and Linda Platt patterns that I've made in the past. Um, they've all come out really, really nice. So, okay, that's that. Now we have this Marcy Tilton pattern. Um, it's like a tunic and dress. This one has more buttons and loops. It has like a Mandarin collar or a stand collar. I'm not sure the difference between those two. It looks like side seam pockets and a little slit or pleat or something happening here. Um, here's the dress version. Oh, that's kind of cool how it's like double layered. That's interesting. I'm not entirely confident in the fit here. It's very tight across her, her shoulders, her shoulder area. See how it's pulling? Like when she closed up the buttons, it's all pulling. I'm surprised they left that like that. And then I don't know what this is doing. That's also concerning. Just very tight all through here. So keep that in mind. I mean, obviously everyone's bodies are different. It looks like you would have a different bodice piece for the dress or for the sleeved version than you would for the sleeveless because the sleeveless cuts in so much. But Look how much better it fits through the, through the um, chest area, right? Maybe that's just a funky designed sleeve, but I think it's really cute. I like the double layer um, hem on the dress. Oh, and look at that. It is a cute sleeve, but this is odd. What is all this? You know what I mean? Something's not right with, with this, what's all happening here, um, but this is super cute. So maybe worth figuring out. Although the sleeveless version would also be cute. Um, I did want to zoom in and see if that is, yeah, I guess it's like a placket kind of. They just did it in contrast fabric. Interesting. All right. This is loose fitting pullover tunic has wide hems. Loose fitting pullover dress has attached underskirt. Both have both views have optional ribbon trim all right that's ribbon trim up here and it post, supposedly it's optional so whatever that means um y'all know i'm not adding these pockets these are terrible they just flop around on the inside and it's just not comfortable like at all um not a fan uh oh but look on here there uh the sleeves are cuffed but they did not cuff hers see hers are left down Still cute, but interesting the illustration is different. That doesn't usually happen. 
Um, okay, cotton shirting, linen, rayon chalet, lightweight denim, quilting cottons, yeah, any of that stuff. Any um, woven light to midweight would be good for this. Um, let's see. Yeah, nothing exceptional on the notions. You have letters, so extra small through medium and then large through 2XL and no finished garment measurements at all there you go that's what you would need for fabric god through a little more than three yards for the dress that's yeah i guess because it's doubled up right here still cool though it'd be worth it all right so there you have it that is the marcy till 10 tunic and dress a little on the fence about the the fit of the sleeved version but maybe with some muslins it could be sorted out all right now we've got a whole unisex pattern these are always so fun so the oversized slouchy look on the female version uh, um it's a collared button down with a lot of very interesting seaming and maybe top stitching there is a lot going on here um Forward shoulder seam, big loose drapey sleeve. Um, <laughs> Lord, could they not have picked like a worse fabric for him? That's just mean. That's just mean. I don't know any guy that's wearing shirts like that anymore, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, so here's the back. You have a back yoke, center back seam. It almost looks like lapped seams. That's, I've never seen that before. Interesting. And then his does not have a seam in the back. Interesting. Fitted, fitted? Okay. Fitted button front shirt has collar with stand and self-lined back yoke with forward shoulder seam. A, which is what she's wearing, uh, seam and tuck detail. That's what they're calling that. Seam and tuck detail. Front yoke, short sleeve, shaped back hem. And then his version is long sleeves with tower placket and button cuff. Wrong side of fabric shows on front edges. What does that mean? For A, wrong side of front shows, wrong side of fabric shows on front edges. I'm assuming they mean like this. I don't even know what that means, but here it is. And again, this can be made for a woman and this could also be made for a man, <laughs> I guess. Um, neither one of them are like incredibly overwhelming to me, but this little, what do they call it? Nip and tuck? Seam and tuck? Seam and tuck detail is, uh, has piqued my curiosity. Like, I'm just kind of very curious about that. Um, you see how it's almost like a lapped zipper? Yeah, it's a little too, like, utilitarian. Utilitarian? Is that the right word? Uh, I guess so. Uh, for my taste. But it is kind of cool that you could make one for you and for your boyfriend in the same pattern. That's fun. Um, charmeuse, shirting, chambray, linen would be super cool. That might be what she's wearing. Maybe cotton though. Um, let's see if you need some buttons. It comes in these funky sizes, 34 through 40 and then 40 through 46. Oh, I don't even know. Um, that's obviously very rare. Let's go to the size charts. Um, is it this? So, what? What are those sizes again? 34, basically through 46. So, <laughs> it's fitted for a man. A smaller man 34 through 46 none of these larger sizes are included um, but you can see the chest is like 
a 34, yeah, I mean, a woman could fit these inches. Oh, and they give neckband length. So, yeah, it's for a man that they, it's a men's shirt that they are putting on a woman, I guess. That's so interesting. Well, for what it's worth, I would be still in a bunch of different size ranges. 36, 42, and then like 46. So I still am all or all over the charts, just like I am in a woman's pattern. <laughs> so I guess that makes me feel a little bit better. Um, interesting. So yeah, you'd have to really pay attention to that, I guess, and hope that both you and your man fit in the same size. Hmm. This is seeming less cool the more, <laughs> the more I look into it. Um, and then no finished garment measurements. So I don't know about ease or anything, but it does look very loose fitting. Oh, and it's Rachel Comey. I didn't mention that before. I didn't really realize that. Interesting. Okay. I'd love to know if Rachel Comey is selling this shirt in her stores. I mean, really? Okay. And then the last one is just for a man. This is a Ron Collins, like a polo type top. So we're not going to cover that one, but all right. So it took me two, two times to finish it all, but we did. What do you guys think of the new Vogue summer sewing patterns? Um, I was looking for like a lookbook, but I don't see one. Um, I think there's a lot of really cute stuff here. Um, some of it is a little too designery, I think, for my taste. But there's also some very wearable stuff in here, too. And I mean, Vogue patterns aren't those that you're going to be like cranking out like one a week or anything. You really want to take your time with them. But there's a lot of really cute silhouettes, a lot of really cute designs, and a lot of really fun techniques that you could definitely learn and explore um, in making these patterns. So yeah, let me know. Is this it? Here it is. Um, let me know what you think of these patterns. I know you will. You always do. Um, leave them in the comments down below. I love reading y'all's comments and your thoughts about everything. So be sure to leave those in the comments below. And I'm guessing McCall's is going to be out with Summer and Butterick new look possibly. So we'll have a few more of these to come. Um, I don't think there's anybody that's doing spring, summer. I just can't remember off the top of my head, but anyways, thank you all. Wait, what is this? I was just about to end the video and then we definitely did not cover this. This is so annoying. They've done this in the past where something pops up in the lookbook and you're like, wait a minute. Same with this Catherine Brenton, right? We didn't cover that. Yeah, we definitely didn't cover that. Um, interesting. So what the heck? What is this? We have a bunch more to look at y'all. I'm sorry. I thought the video was over. Oh my God. Look at this one. Am I losing my mind? Those were not in the regular listing. So annoying. I don't think either of these were either. Hello. Let me go ahead and open them all up. <laughs> I swear. And um, we'll go, we'll add them to the group. There are so many. Okay, we definitely saw all those. We definitely saw those guys. We definitely saw her. Oh my word. Okay, well, it's going to be a little bit longer of a video than we thought. <laughs> okay, we have uh, like a little wardrobe pattern. I really love these. This is a poncho back pleat top shorts and wide leg wrap pants. I'm here for some wrap pants. That sounds like so much fun. This like tone on tone outfit is adorable. That must be the poncho with the pants and the top. 
Ooh, the poncho with shorts. That is so fun. And there's the top with the shorts. Top with the pants. See how many combos there are? Honestly, if you make these in all coordinating fabrics, you could seriously have like 20 outfits. This is back pleat top that they're talking about. That's a little funky. I'm not sure what I think about the top. It looks cuter tucked in. Am I right? But what is that? What top is that? <laughs> they just like throw in another top. That's interesting. This look is so cute. I don't know if I could pull it off, but it is adorable. I love that look. Love this look. Let's look at the line drawings. Well, first let's read this. Poncho cut on crosswise grain has hook and eye. Top A, which is, oh, the poncho has top stitching. B has cuffs. Oh, cuffed. That's cool. Cuffed, um, like sleeve, I guess. Poncho. That's nice. Um, the sleeveless top fitted through bust has French darts back neckline slit, back pleats, and hook slash thread loop, purchased trim, bias tape to finish necklines, and armholes. Okay, below waist shorts have elastic waist, ugh, and side pockets. Okay, wide leg front wrap pants fitted through hips, have back button front waistband, back button, Front, wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. Back waistband with tie ends and no side seams. And they all have narrow hems. All right, so here's the poncho options. You have one with the little cuff on it, um, kind of like the pink and gray poncho that I just made. And this one has, I don't know, is that purchase trim? I can't remember. Um, or did they make the fringe themselves? It doesn't say. What does it say? All right. It would be in the yardage. Uh, notions. Bias tape. Hook and eye. French trim. It's purchase trim. Okay. Then there's your cuffs. Then here's the top. Has a little front dart. Kind of boxy. Center back seam with a slit. I just don't know. Because like when the dart and the pleats are in the front, it's, it's room for your bust. But... When they're in the back, there's it's just billowy and weird. I mean, here are the most basic elastic waist shorts. Um, and then here are the pants. They have a single dart in the back. I mean, it says fitted through hips, but that looks pretty wide to me. Um, and then somehow all of this wraps around to the front, and you end up with, like, this slit. They're super, super cool. I'm definitely going to want to make those for sure. Fabrics are crepe, linen blends, jersey, silk broadcloth. Also for the ponchos, cotton canvas. Mm. Um, contrast B, that's the cuff, would be a moderate stretch knit. Yeah, it's kind of difficult um, to just list all the fabrics that these wardrobe patterns would be good for because, I mean, what you're going to want for the shorts is different than the top, is different from the poncho, so... Um, Refer to shorts patterns for fabrics for a short and lightweight drapey tops for the top and other poncho patterns. That would be my best advice for that. This is just, you know, too broad. Um, we kind of went over the notions a second ago. Oh, it comes in letter sizing, extra small through medium and then large through double extra large. That's interesting. And then here's all of your yardage counts. There's a lot, of, a lot of them. And then finished garment measurements, they give us nothing. Uh, width of the lower edge, who cares? Width of each leg, who cares? Back length. I mean, that's important, but not when you're buying the pattern. That's important when you're making it. And then side length from waist, the length of the pants, basically. Interesting. This is cute. This definitely has some potential. I love the styling and like the kind of monochromatic look that they did for this. Cute, right? 
All right, the next one from the lookbook is Mrs. Knit V-neck and draped dresses from Catherine Bryn. This looks familiar. Did they not just have something like this in the Simplicity catalog? Right, with like the weird drapey stuff on the side? Except this one looks a lot better than that one did. It's just draping a lot better. Right, that looks really elegant and nice. Yeah, I like these. I don't know if you could go shorter, if that would make it a little bit more modern. Um, letter sizing on this too. Yeah, you could go shorter. You just have to make sure that this isn't too, too short, like up to here. <laughs> but I think you could make this a little bit shorter. It's one of those like bang for your buck kind of things. I think you'd spend most of your time cutting it out but then sewing it together is just like a side seam, putting in some sleeves and hemming everything. You know what I mean? All right, two-way stretch knits. So rayon spandex, cotton spandex, inner lock twist yarn knits, which is I-T-Y. That's where you're going to, that's how you'll see that listed most often. And then you need a little bit of elastic. I think that is for, what is that for? I don't know where the elastic goes. Huh. Um, then you have one size. So extra small all the way up to extra, extra large in one pattern piece. That's kind of cool. And then no other measurements are given. What do you guys think of this one? I think it's kind of cool. It's definitely elegant. It's definitely interesting. All right. Now we've got... A very easy Vogue, 9292, super cute, deep V, cap sleeve, uh, maybe a waist seam, and or is this like a princess seam that opens up into a dart? Something like that. Yeah, like that. Oh, and then you have this little inset. Are we sure this wasn't from spring? This might have been in the spring collection. We've seen that before, right? My memory is not serving me well. Close fitting dress has princess seams, back zipper, length variations, and dicky that attaches to dress with snaps. I feel like we've seen this one, guys. So why they included it in this um, collections lookbook, I don't know. Still really cute, though. And I'll show you guys all this in case you missed it. Here are your fabrics poplin, linen, jacquard, your little dicky would be organza and chiffon, and then all the fabric that you would need. They only give you the length for the finished garment measurements. And then your sizes are 6 to 14, and then 16 to 22. Oh, but they all come in one pattern piece, one size. I don't know why they separate them out like that then confusing okay next up is this one also very easy vogue very deep plunging v all the way down to your waist hello then kind of like a little halter top and then this might be like a circle skirt yeah that's cute i feel like i've seen this one before too not this version that gray version i definitely have seen right Fitted online dress with very with link variations has back zipper and hook and eye pleated bodice circle skirt with stitched hem and pockets purchased by his tape finishes armholes. Yeah, it reminds me of um dirty dancing. So there you have it. Very cute, very elegant, very sexy, cute date night look. Crate bag satin, rayon chalet, lightweight broadcloth. And I just want to say that it's not super hard to make a lining for this and then insert cups. So for those of you that are like, I have to wear a bra, you could, you could work around it. At least put cups in. It won't be like super, super supportive, but at least there will be like a layer between you and the world. <laughs> All right. Six to 14, 14 to 22. And yeah, no real finished garment measurements. None that are very helpful at this point anyways. Lots of fabric. 
Love this circle skirt though. I love a circle skirt so much. Very good. I almost thought that there was like some kind of collar there, but there's not. Um, let's see. This one is a Mrs. Jacket. Cute. I love a little cropped jacket. Or not cropped. There's one with some cool like billowy sleeves. Maybe with pleats or something. That's like a shorter version of the orange one. Are we still into this wrist tie thing? Is that still cool? And then there's like the basic cropped one. Also cute. Lots of options here. Lots. I, I guess maybe they don't normally illustrate every single option. Very loose fitting. Unlined jackets have length and sleeve variations. Okay. So our sleeves are this one, which I think is different from a bishop sleeve. Isn't that right? Um, you also have a bust dart and a little back shoulder dart, center back seam. I don't know what, is this just like top stitching? I guess so. And then two lengths. And then this one is the exact same, except for a narrow sleeve with a little tie doodad. And then this one is the exact same as this without the tie doodad. So lots of combos there. Crepe, wool flannel, gabardine, linen blends, and then you need some interfacing. Shoulder pads. And when a pattern calls for shoulder pads, you have to use them. I mean, the pattern was drafted with all of that extra, you know, it's not really ease, but all of that extra bit to fit the shoulder pad is included. So if you decided that you don't want shoulder pads, you'd have to redraft the whole shoulder. But like I've said before, like in my McCall's holiday sew along, shoulder pads have come a long way. They're not what they used to be in the 80s. They're actually very nice and allow a garment to hang on you really beautifully. All right, here are all of our fabric requirements and then just length for the finished garment measurement. Sizing is six to 14 and then 14 to 22. There's some cute options in here, I think. Like I said, I love a crop jacket. I don't know, I would be tempted to make the one with the funky sleeve, yeah, like this. But also, they're really working the Ankara fabric, aren't they? Um, I can see myself making this one. That would be certainly fun to wear, so maybe. Now we've got this shirt dress, custom fit, which means it has the different cuff sizes, separate pattern pieces for cup sizes. Whoa, look at that sleeve. Wow, that's dramatic. And you won't want to have spaghetti or soup or anything like that when you're wearing that dress. Here are other options. You know, a maxi length shirt dress hasn't been around for a minute. But I could see it making a comeback. That sleeve though. Woo. Yeah, that's a that's a lot. It's like a skirt on your arms. A skirt here and a skirt here. Well, that's cute, but obviously. <laughs> and then here's like a little narrow version. I wonder how this would look with the pleats on my if you have larger hips, if you're pear shaped. I do not like a belted, but no. Oh, they left it off of this one. Back yoke. What do we think of this one, guys? Obviously, there's some options that are really cute in there, but this is what they're really trying to sell us on. What do we feel about the skirt sleeves? <laughs> Dress has fitted bodice with notch collar, yoke with forward shoulder, and no shoulder seams. That's interesting. Uh, length and sleeve variations. Full skirt and narrow hem or straight skirt with front pleat detail, back darch, and stitched hem. It includes separate pattern pieces for the cup sizes, as we've mentioned. So, yeah. Okay, so your yoke goes over the front to like a forward shoulder seam, but what they meant is there's no shoulder seam right there on top of your shoulder, but there is still, it's not all one piece front to back. Front bodice to the back yoke, I meant. I hope I'm being clear. Um, 
And then, so here's your big skirt sleeve. Here's your little uh, short sleeve. Here's your long sleeve. And then kind of knee length skirt, midi length skirt, maxi length skirt, and then this fitted skirt also in a few different lengths. Yeah, I mean, a lot of options. I mean, that's why it's called Vogue Easy Options. But what do we think? Do y'all like that one? Sizes come in 6 to 14, 14 to 22, Cabardine, Flannel, Crepe, Ponty. I mean, depending on which version you're making, you could really use just about any fabric. Maybe not super, super stretchy, but any woven, certainly. But if you're making these little skirt sleeves, then you would want that to be a little bit drapey. doesn't have to be shally, but I wouldn't put that in like cotton. They would just be like bell bottom sleeves. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Here's our fabric recommendations for everything. Some of them you need like four and a half yards of fashion fabric. Interesting. And then just the length measurements for the finished garment measurements. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to end up in my stash, but I could see some people making some really cute versions of it. Okay, this is another Catherine Brin. This is a pickup skirt and drawstring pants. A pickup skirt. Okay. Very festival, hippy dippy, if I remember correctly. But, I mean, she looks super cool. That way it's styled is nice. Oh, and then drawstring. What is happening? What is happening? Wow, that's fun. It's not as weird as the simplicity ones from last week, but something here too. But I guess we're not. Is it a shirt? No, no shirt. So don't look at the shirt. My bad. Are we are selling a bag? Why are we showing this? <laughs> what is with this picture or this picture? Unless you're telling me I can make this bag or this top. What is happening? It's just pants. I don't even understand. Oh, look, there she is. That's fun. That's cute that they took a picture together. This is cool. This is cool. I could see this being very modern. Look at it there. That's nice, right? All right. Skirt and straight leg pants have elasticized waistband. Shocker of the century. Elastic. Everyone should go get stock in elastic because apparently it's having a moment. Elasticized waistbands are literally all we've seen um, for the, all the summer patterns. Cut on crosswise grain. This is for the skirt. Concealed ties form drape. That would be fun. Shaped hemline, narrow hem. Cool. Side pockets on B, uh, lower side panels, and inset with drawstring. So you can't really tell, but basically this is like a little seam, and you inset fabric there, and then you put in this little extra bit that has like elastic on it and just pull it up tight. Uh, it serves zero purpose. It has no purpose at all other than just to sort of be cool. And I think that these are darts right here. These two little lines, I think there's darts sewn in, which is what those two things are. So yeah, I mean, it's not a pocket. It's just a design detail. There you go. All right. Linen stretch sateen ponty knit. I'm assuming that's for a, and then crepe and lightweight twill for B or maybe just lightweight wool for B. Crepe and everything else. Linen could go in this category too. Again, it's one of those things where it's, they're so different. You would need two totally different fabrics for them. All right. Some elastic. Then you have your sizing extra small through medium and then large through double XL. Here's your fabric um, requirements. And this one actually does have finished hip measurements which is super helpful. Maybe not necessarily for the skirt, but definitely for the pant. And then uh, leg widths, lengths, lengths. So a little bit of helpful information in the finished garment measurement section. 
This could be cool though. I think that could make that really cute. All right. And let's be real, it's gotta be comfortable. All right, still rocking and rolling on our hidden patterns here. Pull over top with stand up collar and neck facings, feature sleeve bands cut on the cross grain and bias overlay option and then purchased ribbon on one of the versions. So that's, this is the bias overlay or something, cut on the cross grain or something, drop shoulder, little V-neck. Oh, that's kind of cute. So this is the bias overlay option. That's gonna take a ton of fabric. Oh, here's the ribbon, also interesting. Is this just a Vogue top? Yeah. All right. All right, that's all they're gonna give us, not too much. So you have your basic top, these are cut on the cross screen, so you could really work some stripe action into there. And then if you want, you could add this overlay, which is cut on the bias, front and back. And then this is the same as this, it just has ribbon on it. All right, pretty basic. Or not basic, but straightforward. All right, crepe de chine, matte jersey, and silk broadcloth are the fabrics they recommend. But I mean, you could do it out of a lot of other ones too. This one could be out of any stable woven. Um, these I would say maybe something a little bit drapey, but not necessarily like shally. You could go midway drape. Okay, extra small through medium and then large through double extra large are our size options. Here's your fabrics and then a width and length, which really aren't that helpful. But yeah, the ones with the overlay require a lot of fabric. It's basically like two shirts in one. All right, now we've got this tunic and pants. Maybe like center front seam and some other kind of seam going here. Oh. It's like an X with all this thing. Huh. Um, no, I'm not a fan. I don't know. This is odd. Maybe if it were all the way a dress, maybe it's just the tunic over the pants and the sneakers where I'm it's losing me. And then there's the back. Interesting. Loose fitting pullover tunics have sleeve and length variations, pockets, and shaped hemline. Wrong side of fabric will show. Loose fitting wide leg pants have front waistband elasticized back. Oh, there's pants too? Oh, there are pants. Oh, well, that looks a lot different than the illustrations. That's not terrible. But is this a sep? I'm confused. It's really hard to read. I think that it's like three-dimensional like this goes out this way this side stays flat and then this here like you could pull it straight out in front of you you know what I mean like it's sticking out off of the pattern and then there's your pants hmm yeah I think that if they like fully committed to it being a um, dress I could get behind it you know, like how short is it in the back? I mean, this version where the little pointy thing is all the way down at her knee, um, in the back, yeah, you just add a couple more inches down there and you've got a dress. Maybe, maybe that would be cute. I just don't like all this over pants. That's just too much, too much fabric. Maybe over leggings, I guess, something like tight fitting. I don't know. I'm not a fan of how it's styled here, though. All right, here's our yardage. Uh, poplin, crepe, rayon, chalet. Yep. Uh, and then the pants, you could do ponte, you could do suiting, you could do really anything on the pants. Um, let's see. Ooh, 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. 
Basically, you need elastic and bias tape. Um, here's our yardage. We need some fusible. Oh, look, a bus line, a finished bus line measurement and hip line measurement. Thank you. Please include these all the time. I'll leave you guys with those for a minute. Look at all these finished garment measurements. This is so helpful when they have this on here, especially whenever it's loose fitting because you're just like, how loose fitting is it? All right, that is officially the end. I can't believe they had all those patterns not listed on the website, but they're just hiding here in this little um, lookbook. That's why I always try and find the lookbook. Um, okay, so now I will ask you, what did you guys think of these patterns? Let me know if you'll be getting any of them. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below, and I will see you all here again very shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.